SPD2 hybridized and has square planar shape. SP3D2 means seven orbitals are involved in hybridization. Let us take the example of SF4. Sulfur, there are six electrons. Fluorine, 28 electrons. Total comes out to be 34. So, 8 for the 32 means total is 5 SP3D. So, this cannot be the case. XCF4, again, there are eight electrons plus 28 comes out to be 36. 8 for the 36 plus remainder is 4, 2, it means 6, sp3d2. So, hybridization is correct. Now, again, he has said square planar. It will be square planar only if it has two lone pair of electrons. Orbitals are 6, but the bond form the 4. It means there are two lone pair of electrons. So, the correct answer is xcf4. Let us confirm regarding the other two. SiCl4, silicon has got 4 valence electrons. Carbon, chlorine, 7 into 4, 28 plus 4, 32, it means sp3. In the same way, in the case of ammonium, the total comes out to be 8. If the total is 8 or less than 8, divide it by 2, it comes out to be 4, again it is sp3. Now, so in this way, you can calculate the hybridization, the shape, the presence of lone pair of electrons in all the cases. Taking another example, the number of lone pair and bond pair of electron on xenon in XeOF4. Like previous question, first of all, find out the hybridization of xenon. You will find that in this case, again the hybridization comes out to be sp3d2. It means six bonds should be formed, but actually dear students, four plus one, five bonds are being formed. It means that there are five bond pair of electron and one lone pair of electron. So the correct choice is five bond pair, one lone pair, the first choice. Supposing the question is of XeO4, he asks what is the hybridization, the number of lone pair, the number of bond pairs, dear students do again like that, oxygen has got 6 valence electrons, 6 for the 24 plus 8, 32 divided by 8, 4, it means it is sp3 hybridized with no lone pair of electron. Now, we have seen in the valence bond approach that only the valence orbitals containing unpaired electrons. But it means that the molecule should be diamagnetic because unpaired electrons are being paired. We have seen that oxygen molecule is not diamagnetic, it is paramagnetic. So to explain this, another approach, molecular orbital approach was put forward. A molecular orbital is one in which the electrons are under the influence of more than one nuclei. Dear students, molecular orbital is formed from atomic orbitals. Two atomic orbital combine to form two molecular orbitals, bonding and debonding. Bonding is formed by the addition, by in-phase overlapping, by the, the uh, uh, in-phase overlapping of orbitals, whereas antibonding is formed by the subtraction of atomic orbitals, out of phase overlapping. In this case, crust falls on trough. In the case of antibonding molecular orbitals, the electrons lie away from the two nuclei. So do not shield internuclear repulsion. Whereas in bonding, they lie in between the two nuclei. Antibonding has greater energy, so it will not favor bonding. That is why first bonding molecular orbital is filled, then antibonding molecular orbital is filled. And if after, uh, once you do this, look, if there are unpaired electrons, the molecule will be paramagnetic, otherwise diamagnetic. Moreover, we can predict the bond order from it which is given by the formula half into number of bonding electrons minus anti-bonding electrons. A bond order is one, means single bond, two, double bond, three, triple bond. Higher the bond order, greater is the bond energy. Now, the question is, in anti-bonding molecular orbital, the electron density is minimum. I have already told you, in the case of anti-bonding molecular orbital, the electron lie away from the two nuclei. It means that the correct answer will be the electron, the electron density will be minimum between the two nuclei of the molecule. In the real sense, there will be no electron density between the two nuclei. So this is the best answer. Now regarding bond order, N2 molecule, N2 molecule, nitrogen has got 14 electrons. So the electron will enter sigma 1s, sigma 1s star, sigma 2s, sigma 2s star, then pi 2 p y pi 2 p x after that sigma 2 p z and so on. There are 14 electrons, 2 plus 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, then 14. 